So now that the first stocking is almost complete, I'm super, super excited because everything has been working out to plan. Is the progress that I've made so far on the paw stocking. As you can tell, I have most of it stitched together. The only thing that I don't have is the very end stitched together, but it's all flipped inside out. We've got the little loop for hanging and there's going to be some little pom-poms down here. But we are getting there. This is attempt number one and we still have two to go. Um, I've obviously had to take a few liberties uh, with the design because I've kind of been taking multiple patterns and smushing them together. That's kind of how I come up with a lot of my sewing um, projects. And obviously a paw stocking is, well, it's pretty much nothing like a regular stocking. Uh, everything really has to be tweaked uh, here and there. And my goodness, uh, using a fe the felt that I'm using for the inside liner is a little bit of a thicker felt. So it's a little bit harder to turn inside out and right side in. Um, so it does take a little bit of persuading. But um, in the end, it all is working out completely well. Um, it's starting to look like a stocking that you would pay for. <laughs> Thank goodness that when I moved into this house, every single material that I'm using right now was in this house. And the funny thing is that a lot of the materials were already kind of pre, you know, pre in the dimensions or pre-marked partially, um, which makes me sort of believe that uh, maybe uh, the lady who lived here before, who actually had, this, we had the same name, um, Julie. So. I'm wondering if maybe she used that material as well for stockings, but you never know, right? That'd be kind of cool if she did. It would be coincidental. Um, but we actually did a lot of things similar. Um, when we Before we moved in, we came to see this house and it was amazing. Everything that I had want, ever wanted, <laughs> you know, down to the brands of items, the cookbooks in the cupboards, and little organizational tools or shelves, um, you know, the, the way a desk would be, or, you know, how her sewing um, thread bobbins were organized. It was all the way that I had been hoping to have mine for my entire life <laughs> and it was just there and she left pretty much all of it and which was amazing so now I have all this material oh all of these materials to do these projects with um so uh, I obviously um for this st the first stocking it's a tester stocking kind of so I decided to make that one mine uh, because uh, the next two, uh, the second stocking, I figure uh, I could make Kane's and the third one will be Eleanor's. Because uh, the third one I want to be the best, obviously. And um, then I'll start working on making little lace flowers and little details for the front of the stockings. And I've got to figure out, um, you know, putting names on the stockings and how I'm going to do that because... I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do um, for that because I, I know I have quite a few beads and buttons and things like that. Um, so, I mean, it, it might be kind of cute to do buttons or something like that, but um, at, at least for mine, I know I love buttons. Don't know why. Um, and I wanted to do something with lace and little lace roses for Eleanor's and uh, for Kane's. I'm not exactly sure. Um, we'll have to see. <laughs> but uh, he loves bears and 
technology and Minecraft and a whack load of stuff, so I, I have a wide variety of things I can do. Anyhow, this has been a wide variety topic video. Um, lastly, a checkup on my pain. It's very bad at the moment, or getting bad. It was really good all night, actually. Um, right now I'm holding my back and it is just gradually getting worse and worse and worse. So I'm going to have to check out. Um, and today has actually mostly been a crazy upset stomach. Um, I've just not really been able to handle basically any food today. So that is all for the day. I will check in again with you tomorrow. And hopefully in the next week or so I will have some more updates on the sewing and whatever else. Anyhow, have an awesome night and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.